Hello everyone, it's Mel again. I've got another card to share with you. Um, it's another Gorgeous Girl card. Um, I'm working my way through the stamps that I bought recently. This one um, is called Bumblebee. Really, really cute. Um, and I decided to go for um, a different colour palette. Um, I tend to be a pink lilac kind of girl. Me and pink is one of my favourite colours. But when it's when I saw the name Bumblebee, I automatically thought of yellows. I started making this card and I thought, mm, I might make an Easter card, but it kind of hasn't turned out to be an Easter card. I haven't put a greeting on it yet. I haven't decided whether I'm going to send it as a birthday card or um, I might send it as a best wishes card. So, um hasn't got a greeting yet but that's to be decided. Any case, back to the card. What I've done is I've taken some white cardstock, scored it in half. My card measures I think something like five and a half inches by five and a half inches and I've used my favourite paper pad, the Lost and Found Sunshine. Um, I'm almost out of this. I literally have got a few pages left so I will have to try and get a replacement pad. So I took three pages from the designer pad. So we've got this one here, which is really nice. And then I wanted um, a stronger paper just to make the gorgeous girl image stand out. So we went for this. It's kind of like um, a brown, really, and beige. And then just to contrast, I went for this nice, pretty turquoise blue. So I stamped my image on some um, cardstock using uh, Memento ink and then I coloured the image in with a combination of Copic markers and uh, my Pro markers. I'm tending to steer more towards my Pro markers at the moment because my Copic markers seem to be running out of ink. Um, Pro markers are much cheaper and they seem to last much longer. I don't know whether it's the way I store them. My um, Copic markers are stored like this in a pot on a bar, an Ikea bar, um, whereas my Pro markers are stored horizontal. Um, yeah, are stored horizontal. So whether that's make any difference, obviously there is a difference in size. Um, obviously... Pro markers are a lot wider, and that's a chow. So um, I am veering more towards the pro markers, but in any case, I'm not sure that as I run out of the co uh, uh, yeah, Copic markers, that I'm actually going to replace those colours. I think I might have a look at pro markers. I mean, I've had my pro markers a long time, um, really before Copics became popular. And I like the Pro Markers because of the tip, and um, they have even a finer tip now, which I haven't actually bought any fine tips, but um, a friend of mine's got them and highly recommends them, so I think I might try that. And also with the Pro Markers, I've brought out quite a few more colours since I've had mine, so I think what I need to do is go through, make a list of all the colours that I've got, and then see what additional colours, because that was one of the reasons why I went for the Copics, because they had more colour palettes and more shades um, whereas the pro markers was more limited I mean in the pink so you probably got about three or four whereas in the Copics I don't know how many but there's lots of them so that's why I tended to go for the Copics but in any case that's my rundown on pro markers versus Copic markers right back to my card so I've used the designer paper and then I've used some of this beautiful um, cream ruffle trim. I got that from my local market. And then I've got some black pearl trim. Really like that. Looks quite stunning on this card. And then I've used some flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I've got this yellow stroke green tingy rose. It's quite a big rose. Um, I think I must have had it as a free gift or something because it's not really the colour a colour I would choose. But 
it did actually blend in quite well with the wings. Um, and then we've got some ivory roses. I think they are the 20 millimeters. And then I've got a little rosebud there. And then just tucked in here and here, I've taken some of the aluminium on a roll and I've stuck it on a piece of paper to show you. There it is, I've just stuck it on a piece of paper and then I've used a Martha Stewart butterfly punch and then I've just put one there and one there. And I've got some nice pearl bling which is by Prima and then up here we've got some nice pearl crystals, it's these ones, um, I think they're called E, they're, um, they're Prima, I've had these a long time and as you can see I haven't actually used that many of them but I really like this turquoise colour so I've put three there and up in this corner we've got um, a filigree corner from Wild Orchid Crafts, just finishes off a card I think, having an accent in the corner. So here it is my Bumblebee Gorgeous Girl card. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.